Hello, my name is Geoffroy Quane and I work at Inway in Angers in the Imorphan team. We know that climate problems are a major issue of our time. So we are all looking for solutions in many areas to improve the situation. The consequences of global warming are numerous, such as rising temperatures or sea levels, droughts, storms, etc. At Inway, for example, we are working on the selection of new varieties of plants that are more resistant, more productive and require less water in order to reduce the environmental cost of agriculture. One of our major problems is that the development of such a solution is a long process that can extend over 10 years and long procedures produce heterogeneous criterion between different countries. Computer vision is a tool we are working on to reduce the development time of new varieties by accelerating rating, by making standardized and objective measurement, and by sharing our knowledge between countries. There are different criteria we can work on, but for this presentation we focus on the distinction between plant varieties. So the aim on our work is to decide if a new variety is sufficiently distinct from existing registered ones. This problem of distinguishing between plant varieties is similar to the Monge problem, which is to quantify and minimize the energy needed to transform one probability distribution into another. Indeed, we were interested in the characterization of apple varieties according to their color, which we model as a 3D histogram representing the distribution of RGB components. Thus, the optimal transport allows us to quantify the difference in colorimetric terms between two varieties of apples. With the modeling of the colors in the form of 3D histograms, we find ourselves in the case where our two probability distributions are discrete. Two types of algorithms exist to handle this case, a synchron algorithm and earth movers distance. We finally chose the EMD which, in spite of a longer computation time, seemed better adapted to the situation. To assess whether two varieties are sufficiently distinct, we first built our dataset by passing the apples through a machine with a conveyor belt, applying rotation and translation to the fruit. A camera above the conveyor belt takes pictures of the apples, giving shots of the fruit from every possible angle. Thanks to the method explained, we have built two datasets, each consisting of eight or nine varieties and visible on this slide, with a 3D histogram of each of them. The first dataset is a simpler one, with varieties very different from each other. The second one is more complex, since the varieties are very similar. Although we were mainly interested in the optimal transport, we also worked with other more classical features such as the RGB mean and variance, or other features also computed from the 3D histogram such as fractional anisotropy, fractal dimension and mutual entropy. To know if the chosen features could distinguish apple varieties belonging to the same dataset and the share of optimal transport in this classification, we performed a multi-class classification with the optimal transport only and then with all the features. The best results were obtained with the SVM and are very satisfactory for the two datasets. Moreover, the optimal transport alone allows to obtain a classification with an accuracy higher than 50%. To get closer to real cases, we then gathered our two datasets to create a single one containing two classes. The apple belongs to the initial dataset called difficult, corresponding to the varieties called gala mutants, or to the second dataset, non gala mutant. From there, we performed an individual classification of the apples and a second classification of subset of 30 apples randomly chosen from one of the two initial sets. The best results are again obtained with the SVM and are really satisfactory with an accuracy of 100% for the subset of apples, whatever the chosen features. For the individual classification, we reach almost 100% with all the features and the accuracy remains above 50% if we use only the optimal transport. Finally, we can conclude that optimal transport is an effective tool for determining whether varieties are distinct in terms of color. Thank you for your attention and I also thank the Invite Project for funding this work.